Welcome back. It's time for some life love shopping. Joining us today is Alicia Yoon, the CEO and founder of Peach and Lily and a celebrity esthetician. She is a pioneer of Korean beauty in the United States. And today her beauty brand has grown into a household name across the country. Alicia, welcome to the show. Are you ready to help us get our skin ready for the summer? I am. And thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So as I mentioned off the top, Korean beauty, that is something we hear a lot about. And I don't know that everyone knows what that is. And we abbreviate it to K-beauty. What is K-beauty for those who don't know and the overarching philosophy of that? Yeah, I mean, Korean beauty essentially is right there in the name. It's beauty products that are formulated and manufactured in Korea. But there is a whole philosophy around how Koreans approach skincare. And so especially when it comes to skincare, um, it's all about long-term results. It's about treating your skin as the organ that it is and really thinking about a holistic approach to having those long-term results that you want to see. So for example, it's not about overnight quick fixes and superficially just correcting, um, you know, something on a temporary basis, but really thinking about how do you achieve your healthiest skin yet from within and in a longer term way. And hydration is a really key part of that. So a lot of Korean skincare products are focused on layering, uh, hydrating kind of thinner products that really sink in deep and give that plumping hydration to skin. And so when you look at kind of Korean skincare, you know, brands and so forth, there's a lot of like dewy skin, right? Yeah. Um, that you might see in the campaign. So it's this, this holistic approach. And then also Korea is known as the beauty Mecca, as the place where it's the place where actually they are the biggest uh, manufacturer of, of skincare products across the whole globe. So many brands, not just Korean brands, go to Korea to formulate their skincare products because the innovation there is so forward. And those innovations result in really incredible formulas that are super effective, yet so clean and so gentle on skin and really interesting ingredients, both, you know, scientific ingredients and natural extracts or, or both, right? They can be both. Um, and so it's a, it's a really interesting kind of word, Korean beauty, that kind of signifies quite a bit. Absolutely. And I can definitely attest to what you're saying. I had a, I have an older sister who lived in Korea for three years and I had the opportunity to visit her and the beauty products were just amazing to the point that when she moved home, she would actually still purchase those products and have them shipped from Korea to America because it was that much, you know, it was worth it. So let's talk about your personal approach to beauty. If you could kind of share how you view that. Yeah. So I became an esthetician um, many years ago, because I struggled with severe eczema growing up, like bleeding, visible, painful rashes. And I never, ever thought that, and I never, ever thought that I would be told at any point in my life that I have good skin. Mm. Um, it was, it was that bad. And eczema is not something that you can cure, right? I still have eczema, but over the years through my skincare studies, I was able to figure out how to really manage my flare-ups and transform how my skin looks and feels to a point now where people don't even realize I have eczema. Um, and also I was told when I was younger, like when I was a teenager, that by the time I'm in my thirties, you know, my skin will look like I'm sort of in my fifties because my skin is in inherently very weak. Um, and I'm going to lose a lot of collagen and I'm going to have a lot of trans epidermal water loss. And I really made it my goal to figure out how to combat that in a holistic way by using the right set of ingredients and not using certain ingredients. Um, and now I'm in my forties and I feel like my skin has held up better than it should given my skin genes. And so all of that personal experience uh, has translated to our brand, Peach and Lily. And in short, it's all about approaching your skin really gently. You don't ever want to overdo anything. Too much of a good thing is actually not a good thing. 
really approaching it gently, number one. And that means, you know, anything that could be an allergen too harsh on skin, you know, overdoing it with too many acids, you know, going in too far, too fast with retinol, for example, like Mm -hmm. all of that is something that I really avoid. Um, But number two, it's also about approaching it holistically. So for example, even if you're working on hyperpigmentation for skin, for dark spots, and you want to tackle that, let's say with a vitamin C product, great ingredient. Um, you still need to actually think about hydration because your melanocytes, they are overactive, but if it is not well hydrated, even if you're using vitamin C to calm it down, the lack of hydration can actually make it more overactive again. And so it's really thinking about it from multiple angles. That's number two. And the third part is, is that you know, even if it's gentle for me, even though I have eczema, I didn't want just gentle products that feel good. I wanted clinically effective products, but also number two, think about it holistically. And number three, you know, really getting into the science of it so that it really does work. So, you know, beautiful natural extracts and clinically effective ingredients in gentle formulas. Excellent advice. And of course, today, May 31st is the last day of Asian American and Pacific Islander month. But obviously, it's important <clears throat> to celebrate Asian-owned companies all year long. And can you can you talk about that quickly? We have maybe 20 seconds. So the beauty industry specifically, there's so much that is linked to Asia, right? Like we talked about how so many brands go to Korea to manufacture products. Right. Um, ingredients and innovations are coming from Korea and other places in Asia, uh, Japan, Taiwan, et cetera. It's so, so recognizing important. that. Yeah. yeah, and 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 Thank respecting you. that and giving yeah. credit where it's due, but also supporting your AAPI community because there's such a linkage there. Alicia, where can we go for more information? You can go to peachandlily.com and also Peach and Lily and uh, you know on on all of our social media channels. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back with more. <laughs> 